Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again to another Paladins video, we're going to be playing some Zin today, Max Counter Zin to be specific, this one's turned into somewhat of a favourite of mine, somewhat of a classic, even though it's only like a year old, but even though it is relatively new, it has definitely grown in popularity since I originally covered it, don't think I was the reason why, it's just a genuinely good setup and it is really annoying to go against, so if somebody plays against it, then they kind of adopt it for themselves, I feel like that's kind of how it spread, but in my opinion the reason why it's stuck is just because of how much fun it is to actually play running around with your counter up all the time, it gives Zin a bit of extra sustain, it is just yeah enjoyable to use the setup at least for me consists of four main parts we've got viciousness fan the flames footwork two of those i'd say are optional and then number four being the play style that you actually have to run around and try and land your counter and be a bit more active with it the only one out of the four that's actually necessary is the card which is reducing the cooldown of our counter by 75 percent whenever we hit an enemy with a counter chronos also helps you definitely don't need to grab it but it does make things a little bit smoother especially if you're missing your counter a little bit more we then have basically a full reset on our biller whenever we get a kill i'm just kind of adjusted to this it's something you don't need to have in the setup but for me finding it makes my life a little bit easier we then have movement speed after the counter whether you land it or not that will trigger as far as i know then a bit of extra health and a tiny bit of extra ammo sadly the talent doesn't really play into it at all it would be nice if he had a counter talent of some sort i'll just go ahead and grab whichever one fits the game which is what i'd recommend you do as well because none of them really play into the counter setup at all all right well for game one we've got siege ascension peak we've got an eevee we've got a charlotte and andrew and a damber shout outs to uber spady hasn't called me out in the chat but i've definitely played with him a ton of times before i'm surprised he doesn't have a little verification badger because i swear he's a relatively well-known person in paladins or maybe he was i don't know really what he's up to these days but shouts to spadey but then for the enemy team we're up against a tiberius a dredge a kinesa a chorus and an ash we'll go ahead and i guess grab guillotine i could go for any of them here like i said but i feel like guillotine might mean we can get rid of the ash a little bit more often it seems like the safer choice and then the counter setup i guess i'll start off with some cauterized to deal with the chorus and stuff we've got wormhole we've got Rico, curse revolver and spirits chosen so super standard stuff and then for this side fortress breaker spreading influence hurl tigans three and steady aim so let's just go run right into round one it feels like it's been a couple of days since i played a siege on the channel but that's just might be me and my terrible perception of time we're going to go ahead and roll in i don't know if the card triggers if it hits a shield i guess not that's something that i just went ahead and learned today you know i've got to test it out because things like that i always forget i'm dead to the nessa just had my f off cooldown i guess i was a little bit too slow i did go around the side i thought about flanking her and then i didn't see as i just went towards middle bad play pretty sure i've also played with the nessa before but i can't say for sure that was a double hit with the counter nice or the right click i mean or the left click definitely a little bit more janky today than usual explaining what i'm trying to say the ash is nearly gone can we finish her off here we should be able to there we go okay cool got rid of the dredge too I literally cut myself off mid sentence everything feels really laggy though so i'm going to go ahead and hit f9 to bring the ping counter up not that it really you know means anything because as far as i know the server issues aren't related to ping they're just packet loss or at least i think that's what they said on a blog post ages ago when they said the servers were apparently fixed they definitely aren't they're still super janky they're better than they were but yeah servers are far from perfect anyway we somehow managed to actually get the cap i'm honestly kind of surprised i'm going to go ahead and just alt the ash to remove it from the game I'm going to make a bit of an active effort to not complain about the servers for the rest of the game because i feel like i do it too often but my god they definitely feel kind of crappy in this one we'll roll across i thought i would get a lucky momentum carry sadly not there is the biller thank you for the heals get okay, a reload in push up a bit on the dredge there is the counter or not because i guess he's going down there we'll just kill him a little bit later sure i'm going to push up here with spadey i think he's going to be able to get rid of him he's going to head and pop the ult there goes the corvus the canessa managed to get away there is my counter okay ash is going in we're going to go ahead and just roll through finish her off and went ahead and finished her off i'm going to go ahead and get some more shots i don't know how the hell i just killed dredge to be honest but okay whatever i feel like i didn't even come near hitting him you know i'll take it i was just trying to counter your dash but i think you purposely dodged me there she is gone i don't know if she's actually playing or not that is the tiberius doing clips i thought i was going to be out of range there is the q thank you dan before the heal there is my counter i don't know what i even just countered but i think it might have been a nessa shot did just get pretty much one shot by the nessa which kind of sucks but whatever we'll go ahead and run back in i nearly had enough to finish off quarterize we'll get next time to have the ult up i don't think i should use it here though i should probably save it for the next round you got rid of the tiberius it somehow just got push failed i'm not really sure about that one i think i dipped off it for just like the ideal second for it to not give me the objective push okay don't feel like we wouldn't get that one anyway but it was definitely a little bit janky there because i feel like i was on it maybe i was just misjudging it or the server was just being weird and updating a little bit slow i don't know we're gonna go around into round two whatever definitely tempted to go for an alt straight off the bat yeah sure she's winding up the f there we go we'll just remove her make our lives a little bit easier i'm gonna roll over realistically i should probably try and guillotine the nessa because she's the only person who's really giving me any sort of issue everybody else is fine but i am getting rid of the ash so maybe she would be causing trouble if i wasn't getting her don't actually know if the ash is playing or not as far as i can tell she isn't we got the cap again but i think the ash is actually a bot just got a lucky counter against the nessa she nearly got rid of me i guess i should be ulting her then right because if the ash isn't playing there's no need for me to go after her we're gonna go ahead and roll in aggressively this is probably a bad play counter no you actually purposely missed me there okay see if we can get rid of the nessa here i might die for it but i think we can probably roll in and finish her off nice again a bit of a lucky play i don't know if she's here or not it's actually kind of hard to tell because the ashbot is nowhere near as bad as some of the other ones she's definitely not here but it's kind of actually nearly convincing should i go ahead and alt the nessa can i actually reach here no i thought i could though there is a counter sure i'm gonna try and use my billow had to spam that for ages just kind of hid in the corner for a little bit there kind of worked i don't know why i'm going this way when i don't have my billow up i thought i did hit the counter we're actually up trying to push up a bit here 
on the right, but the Nessa definitely sees me, which is going to push up super aggressively on the dredge. I have no idea where his thing is. I'm just going to go into the queue. Massive thanks to the Damber for the heals. Just going to get rid of the Ash, I guess, because even if she is a bot, she's still kind of annoying and she's still doing something. It is a 4v5 now, so it's definitely unfair. He's going in. There's a counter to kill him. Nice. We also got rid of the dredge. Pop the queue, and yeah, there we go. 3 1. They do have a recovery mechanic. It's 4v5. It's a completely unfair game. I will try and cut a bit more of this one out so we can have more time for the other games because this is unfair. Can I make that with my F? Oh, I guess I can. It's actually kind of useful to know. I probably should have known that already. There's an all on the Tiberius. Not what I was going for, but okay, we hit the dredge. There is the bill. I'm just going to distract him back here. That's probably actually a good idea because at least somebody's going to have to go and try and get rid of me. That's it. It's just there. Pop the F. Am I going to be able to get across? Yes. Can't believe she didn't land the shot on me there. There goes the dredge. Cool. This is probably going to be a 4 1. Like I said, I can't really give him any shit for it at all because it is a 4v5. Pop a right click, push up on the nest. I'm probably dead here. I guess we can just again distract her. I don't know if she's here or not. She's playing a bit weird. She just kind of shot me around the corner. But whatever. There is the 4v1. Doesn't matter. Victory. But anyway, there we go. There are the stats for game one. I'll go through them pretty quick so we can jump into game two. The Andrew did fine. Evie did a really good job. We did pretty decent. The Damber shredded with the heals. And the Shalin also did okay. Bit under average, but not terrible. He was pushing the objective twice as much as everybody else there after all. So it does make sense. There, Ash was a bot for most of that game. The Dredge had a bit of a tough time. The Tiberius did okay. The Canessa shredded. And then the Corvus, I guess, did decent as well. For game two, we've got King of the Hill, Snowfall Junction. We've got a Corvus. We've got an Andrew, Cassian, and Nara. Shoutouts to Tesnia. That is a Corvus. Then for the enemy team, we're up against an Andro, an Io, a Talus, a Drogos, and a Vivian. Io and Andro are both around 100, but that's pretty much the only, you know, standout level. And a few people on our side were kind of high as well. We'll go ahead and I guess grab Smolder or Yomi. Your guillotine wouldn't really make sense here. I guess we'll go ahead and grab Yomi. We'll start off with some Cauterized, Treacherous Ground, Spreading Influence, Impulse, Curse Revolver, Booby Trap, Fuse of Lord, Inner Strength, Goddess's Blessing, and Curse Revolver. So literally the only one that's any different there is Treacherous Ground. The rest are all super standard. Hopefully this time around I can actually show off counters in, because in the last game I was just showing off guillotines in more than anything else, because we couldn't really use the counter too often, because it was just a bit of a tough matchup. Hello, I.O. You just dropped in front of me. The delay on the damage was kind of mad. Hello, Vivian. There's the right click. Why are you so quick? I don't understand. Trying to hit under a shield. Actually landed all of them. Hello, Taz. I guess I'm also going in on you. Can we finish him off? Cool. What a goddamn smooth team wipe. Well done. And is being wailed on by somebody over on that side, because I'm pretty sure they just spawned there. But man, I've already tried to record a video today. It kind of got ruined by the lag. This one seems to be having a very similar sort of issue. Luckily, it isn't too bad because we're playing Zin, so I'm not noticing it as much. Hello, Drogos. I don't really want to fight indoors, even though you can fly, because you can then constantly direct hit me. He is gone. Thank you, Cause, for the heals. Definitely saved my ass. There is the billow. I reckon I'm probably dead here. There's a splash and a dash. Never mind. I'm dead to the Andro. Fair enough. But what I was trying to say for like two bloody minutes is that even though the servers are scuffed and have been for like a year, I still, for some reason, have hope that they're going to get better. I don't know if they ever will. Maybe this will be like the future of Paladins. The servers are always, you know, at least a little bit bad. But I still have some hope that they'll be 100% fixed sometime in the future. Who knows bloody when I finished off our quarter I could ult the IO, but I don't really feel like I need to. I can probably just finish her off here. Normally, there is a counter. What happened with my shot there? That was really weird. I fired out like a thing without meaning to fire out a thing. I'm going to go ahead and ult the Drogos midair. What a bloody ultimate. There we go. That's a good way to use it. Vivian is pushing up. That is the Drogos going for the ult. I just hit him with an 850. Oh my god, he's so low. Pop the right click for the movement speed. That is the Andro ulting. Okay. Didn't even really have time to react to that one. He's just going to try and drop down. I did take damage from a Vivian mine there straight off the bat, which kind of sucks. There was a Q. Thank you, course, for the heal. There's a counter. Nice. I don't have the counter back up just yet. So, so close to getting it. I guess we should get some Chrono so it's a little bit smoother. You don't need to, like I said, but it does help definitely. Hello, Andro. I literally just spawned. He's pulling up his reversal. I'm going to counter the counter. Can we finish him off? No, because he's moving mad. Okay. Pop the F. Wiggle over here. Hello again, Andro. You hit me with a punch. I hit him with a slash combo of some sorts. There is a Q. Completely negated that damage. There is a right click again. Why do people just not hit into me? I just tried to pop the ult. We managed to use the F to get out of the way. Nice. Talus is just here. We got the reveal. Should I go in on him? I thought he would be, you know, at least some kind of low, but nope. He's full health. Hello, Vivian. I'm kind of on the other side of the wall here. The freaking Nanar is just wailing on you as well. There is the counter. It feels like there's so much delay when I pull up my right click before it actually like fires out the projectile, even though I'm getting hit by like freaking everybody. Hello, Vivian. I guess you're just running straight to the point. I don't think she's playing. So this is another 4v5. As far as I can tell, the Vivian isn't there either. So why have we had two games now where we've been a man up in comparison to the enemy team? That's so dumb. I guess that just goes even further to kind of prove that stuff is a little bit extra scuffed. I'm on 60 health. Thank you, course, for the heals. This mine has been saving my ass. Pop a right click. Yep, Vivian is just running in a straight line. I don't think she's here. That is me dead again, too. I guess the Vivian technically, but I think that was more of the Andro ultimate than anything else. Yep, definitely the Andro. Even though we are a man down, they're actually holding up really, really well. I just tried to counter him after he was in his teleporter because I have a huge brain. I do have the ult up. Are we going to try and ult the Drogos? I feel like that's a bad idea, but I guess I can't go that way either. Thank you for the heal, Corvus. Just countered the fire spit. What a play. I've got the counter again. Please just let me get rid of you. There we go. That shouldn't have taken that long. Talus just spawned there. I guess we'll go ahead and ult the Andro. Yep, sure. That wasn't necessarily what I was going to go for. I guess I made the decision last second. We popped the F to
really understand how that one works. There is my billow. I'm definitely dead. I guess all I can really do is just try and delay my death. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm on 57 health. Don't really know what my plan is here. I feel like I'm dead any second. Thank you, Covers, for the heals. There's a counter just to stop that from happening. All my animations are just super desynced because of everything going on right now. I'm probably dead. I'm going to, again, try and delay it. But nah, definitely have a feeling that the Andro see my stuff because every time he kills me, he drops a spray. Or at least every few times he kills me, he seems to drop one. They are currently winning by 50 points, which is honestly pretty impressive. I'm not even mad if they win this, to be honest. I don't know why it would be. The fact that they can win a 4v5 is honestly great. The Vivian sitting on the points working quite well for them in a weird kind of way. The Vivian being a bot is actually helping them a little bit because she's permanently sat on the point. It'll be interesting to see how much objective time she has at the end of this one. Let's go ahead and ult the Andro. Yeah, sure, because he's the person that's actually giving me some form of trouble, although that wasn't enough to kill him because the IO was on him. Hit a bunch of stuff on the Vivian, landed the counter, pull up the counter again. No, you're just not going to fire into me. What the hell was my F? Did it not even go off? No, I've got it off cooldown. Andro's dash is also super janky. What the fuck was that play? <laughs> Don't really know where I just took all that damage from, but I popped my Q to try and negate a bunch of it. That is Andro doing dashes. There is a counter that's obviously not going to hit him. He's going for the ult. We actually got rid of him. There goes the Vivian 2. Pop the billow just because I kind of panicked a bit. Pretty sure we've lost this one just because of how much of a lead they managed to pull with the score. I don't think we can really recover it. Going to go ahead and ult somebody or not. Okay, yeah, sure. There's my billow. I'm spamming Q, but I'm animation locked. So I am a goner. 399 and there is the 400 and the defeat. I'm not even mad. Why would I be mad? I don't get mad normally, but the fact they won that as a 45 is quite impressive. So, so yeah, props to them for the win. There are the stats for game two. Gonna cut this video here. I could do a game three, but I really don't want to. I think this video is kind of cursed. Hopefully Paladins is a bit less scuffed tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, for the stats, we actually didn't do too bad. We definitely could have done better there. Andro was way above pretty much everybody there. 3720k. We had 60k, which is quite a bit below him. Pretty much half. I'd easily go as far as to say that the Andro kind of made up for the fact that their Vivian was a bot. The Vivian bot isn't anywhere near as bad as some of the other ones. She did sit on the objective a ton as well because it's programmed a little bit better for King of the Hill, so it didn't do, you know, completely abysmally. Some of them do like 10k damage the whole game and just sit around doing basically nothing. She at least ran to the point and kind of dealt a bit of damage. She actually wasn't even that far behind damage wise. If you look there, the Corvus did pretty good. 100k heals props to him. The Inara stuck to the objective. She did okay. She could definitely could have done better damage, but not a bad stat. Then our Andro also did fine. Their Iota did pretty good. Their Talos did pretty decent. The Vivian already went through her. Their Drogos had a bit of a tough time. And then their Andro carried. That's pretty much all I have to say. I was hoping that this video would go better considering I was trying to play and, you know, demonstrate counters in. Didn't really get a chance. Definitely feels to me like this video has been an unintentional part two to like the paladins won't let me play damage or grip channels or whatever it was that we did a couple days ago because I feel like I just had the exact same repeat again. Servers being weird and matches not being great for it. Would still say it's been pretty fun even though they were two 4v5s. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. My voice is kind of gone, but yeah, as always, stay frost there.